So where we are is you can see the line of that island off the tip there. Yep. And we are there. There's the stream, which is that stream there. Yeah, excellent. So navigation is perfect. And then basically all we need to do is continue on the same bearing pretty much. And we end up on the next lock, which is there. Fantastic. So in terms of the amount of distance, it's about... 350 400 meters yeah excellent it's a beautiful spot obviously people have been here before but this is the main drag to get to eval uh -huh. up there so they must walk past here here we go 14 uh, we're gonna port the sacks and the boats over to another lock so, yeah, got the stuff on there. Yeah. And, uh, sleeve cool okay. yeah Whoa. in we go <laughs> look lucky you didn't uh, disappear in the bog that time like <laughs> <laughs> Plastic paddles make good uh, good walking sticks. Expensive wooden paddles don't make good walking sticks. <laughs> oh. What is causing that? No cloud. That's amazing. So I've not the... seen that on a lock. It's the lock. It's the lock. Yeah. This is the one I want. Wow, fantastic. Get the end here and then just wait out that way then. Have we got a have we got a shawl? Oh look at that man. If we get down here we're good. Oh look at that, perfect. there around the islands along here around there we came through here down through there past there and onto here we've then come from that stream and we're there yeah we'll then start heading northeast up there so we'll come around we'll come to a peninsula and then we can come in we're going to be heading into the wind here a bit yeah and there's not much more of the lock there you can see we're almost at the head that's the head there yeah so we've pretty much got it all this then there's a channel goes round which will be round there then that leads to the other half of the lock. Yeah. Okay, but we'll leave that. We can, once we've got our base up here, I'm still thinking we have our base up there because then we can get access yeah, to like different kind of... areas. We can always pack raft down here and into there if we want to or whatever, however we yeah. want to do it. Yeah. But once we've got set up, then we're set up. So that... All right. Another lock. I would tell you the name of it, but <laughs> I'd never be able to pronounce it anyway. The lock after Obersary. <laughs> Man, this is weird. <laughs> I think I've missed coming off the water. Or is it cloud? Shocker. <laughs>
É. Looks like we picked out our uh, bivvy spot for the evening. There's sort of a shelter behind these rocks here. And if the worst comes to the worst, we can walk around there to get some more shelter behind this bigger rock. Uh, not too bad. It's sort of a uh, soft, soft ground. Not wet anyway, is it? This looks quite dry here. So Mark's possibly got his priorities right. He's setting up his, uh, well, it's not so much bivvy as camping in luxury. Uh, I've just got his bivvy back. Uh, my priority is a bit different, getting the fishing rod set up. I'm afraid this is what it's come to. Mid as hell. And, uh, yep, we've just got to put up with it. Mark's having a go fishing, so let's see what he's doing. Base camp has proven to be a midge fest. So uh, to catch any breeze going uh, and get rid of the midges, I'm going to go to the bivvy at the top of the hill. We've already been up there and there's a bit more of a breeze. Great view from up here. We saw the eagles of Eval when we were pack rafting in. So keep an eye out for them in the morning. The sea's over there. I'm thinking I might go and have a quick look. There's the sun going down. Just about to stop. Half ten. <laughs> 